Hey, how's everyone doing out there? It's your boy, Andre Gonzalez, starting off like a YouTube. All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to deal with criticism as an artist. Now, you can apply this to being an audio engineer. You can apply this to being a creative. You can apply this to being a business owner. You can apply this to even being just a regular old human, okay? And so um, let's just start writing on this whiteboard. Let's just make sure this whiteboard works. Okay, it works. How? How to? <laughs> no, I'm not going to write the whole thing out. Okay, let me just take that out of here. Oh, we can clear it. Oh, wow. I'm learning how to use Zoom. Okay, so now, guys, the stuff that you're going to learn in this training is worth at least 10K, okay? 10K. Yeah, you, you're gonna, you would have to pay your therapist or some spiritual guru at least 10K to learn the stuff that I'm about to give you guys for free 99, free 99. Yeah, you guys know I'm horrible at writing, okay? I'm a computer man. Okay, so before we begin, before we begin, what makes me qualified to teach you how to not be criticized or how to handle criticism, okay? Particularly online. Now, I've been putting my work online since I was a kid, okay? I have tons of my writings online, probably thousands of articles at this point, uh, as well as videos and music, of course. And obviously, come on, guys. I've got a lot of hate, okay? I've got a ton of hate haters, right? Um, and I had a lot of trouble dealing with it, especially at the beginning. And I even stopped, <laughs> I even stopped looking at my comment section because I took it so personally, right? And uh, a couple of my songs went viral. And if you've ever had any of your content go viral, you know how crazy the comment section can get, right? And so uh, one of the songs I dropped, half of the comments on it were positive and the other half were negative. Now, this is not normal, right? Usually it's like 90% 90, 90 is positive, 10% is negative, right? Or even 70% is positive, 30% is negative, right? In this case, I, I to me, it felt like 60% were negative, negative comments and like 40% were positive, right? And now the weird thing is when I go to that video now and look at the comments, it's like, they're all positive. So I don't know if YouTube like just is not showing me any more haters anymore. I don't know what's going on, but like, it just seems like YouTube is, there's there's not that many haters on it anymore. Or maybe YouTube is just filtering out all the negative comments with some um, crazy algorithm they got set up. But anyway, we don't need that right now, right? We're getting hate on your comment, on your social media, you're getting... You're, you're getting at least one hate comment, which is actually really good from a marketing standpoint, because that means you're getting the reach, right? You're getting reach. And if you don't have haters, then you're not doing enough. And that's me spelling reach right now. Okay, please don't hate on that. Looks like Roach. Sorry, guys. Let me clear this. Okay. And so um, the way I learned to overcome my fear of criticism really is and oh yeah, I should point out that every artist, especially when you're starting out, is very sensitive about their art. Okay, so if you're a business owner and you you feel sensitive about comments people are making on your post, it, it's probably nothing in comparison to what an artist goes through with their art. Because because I'll go into it later, but our art is very personal to us. It's a lot more personal than your business, right? And so the way I've taught myself to deal with criticism is by categorizing it and how do I categorize it in two ways okay there's solicited feedback right here I'm going to try to write this solicited right solicited feedback and there's unsolicited feedback okay unsolicited feedback okay Okay, you guys know what I'm trying to write here, okay? Um, I, I really should get a stylish or something for this. Okay, and so unsolicited feedback, all right, this guy right here, this thing right here, is when you put your music up or your content up on social media and people are blasting it with negative comments or even positive comments, right? 
And this is called unsolicited because we never really ask for people's opinions, right? We never ask them to say anything about our art or our content, right? And so, and, and especially we never ask people who don't, who we don't know, right? We never ask strangers what their opinion of us is and who likely don't know what they're talking about, right? Uh, and more importantly, guys, it's really important to remember this. Someone that knows what they're talking about is not going to hate on you, especially in an online public comment, okay? Now, the second type of feedback is this thing right here, solicited feedback. Okay, this is the type of feedback I only accept. Okay, um, this is this is the type of feedback that you usually have to pay for if you want good feedback. Okay, so solicited feedback is when you ask someone who knows what they're talking about, and like I said, you usually have to pay them. Okay, and this is the only type of feedback I accept because I only want to listen to people who know what they're talking about, okay? And you can apply this to music, to your business, to your relationships, to your health, right? Who are you going to listen to for your health, okay? You have some random ailment that you may, may potentially die from, right? You're not going to listen to some random comment in a Facebook group, right? You're going to go to someone who you vetted and they know what they're talking about. And depending on which country you're in, you may have to pay them like thousands of dollars to help them to to have them help you solve this issue right this health issue otherwise you're outie right you're out of this reality right you're dead you're right you're gone and so online comments to me fall into this category right here unsolicited feedback category right i'm i never asked anyone for their opinion all right i never asked any of these people for their opinion and i recommend you never ask for anyone's opinion unless you're like at the end of your post or whatever, you're like, I'd love to hear your feedback. No, don't even do that, okay? Make make whatever content you're putting out so good that people have to comment on it, right? You, you obviously want your stuff to be remarkable, right? So people have to make a remark on it. And um, obviously that's what we're all aiming for, but we don't even have to acknowledge what they're saying, especially when it's unsolicited, okay? Now, if you are talking to someone in DM or Messenger, and you ask for their feedback, don't be upset if they give you negative feedback, right? Especially if you didn't pay them any money or they didn't pay you any money. Why? Because their feedback is not about you, right? Let me give you guys an example. This producer, let's clear this out. Let's get, let's get fresh and clean, right? This producer, he hit me up and he was showing me one of his beats and I just said the sax was annoying on it. Okay. The sax, not the sex. Okay. The sax. Okay. The sax, the saxophone, saxophone sound was a little annoying on it. And I think I was kind of flipping with it because I thought he wanted me to be on the song. And there was like no space for my vocal to really fit on here. And so I was like, yeah, the sax, the sax is annoying. And he got so upset. And, and it was almost if I said he was annoying. Okay. So this is him over here. This is him right here. He almost thought I said he was annoying. No, bro. I said your sax is annoying, okay? Your, the saxophone in your song, in your beat was annoying, right? And so this brings us to the second thing I want you guys and gals to understand is you are not your music, okay? I know that may feel crazy because our music is so personal to us, right? And But... You are not the saxophone in your song, right? You're not the, let's see, can I draw a saxophone? <laughs> my saxophone right here, guys. You, you're not your saxophone, bros. And you're not the 808s, right? You're not the 808s hitting, okay? You're not the, you're not the ukulele. You're not, you're not the mean ukulele solo. Okay, guys, you're not, this is my ukulele trying. <laughs> and so you're not even the, the singer or the rapper's voice in the song. Whoa. Deep, right? You're not even the voice coming out of your mouth, right? Especially the voice that's that you're hearing on the on the track, right? And I don't know if I want to go that deep in this. Okay, this is a free training after all, guys. This is a free 99 training after all. Right? I don't want to go too deep into this. I, I go more deeper in my paid content, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? And so I don't want to go too deep. But this is this is my free content. 
why did I write freep there? Okay, I don't know. And so, um, but when someone gives you what feels like negative feedback, let's clear this here, right? When someone gives you what feels like negative feedback, I'm just gonna write a negative symbol right here in block letters. Um, the comment, their comment is more about them than it is about you, okay? Their comment is about them, right? Oh, that's a nice them. And it ain't, it's not, it's no, it's not about you, okay? Them does not equal you, okay? Mathematics, okay? And so let's go back to the producer who I told his saxophone was annoying in his beat. He took it as if he was annoying, right? And so like he wrote me a whole paragraph after that, bro. I was like, whoa, paragraphs, bro? My wife don't even write me paragraphs. And so um, he took it as if I said he was annoying, right? But it was only, it was only to my ear that it sounded annoying. My ear, right? So this is why when someone gives you negative feedback or hates on you, right? Their their hate their hateful comment is more about them than it is about you, right? Here's my ear. This is my ear, right? Do I got big ears? I might have big ears. So sorry, guys. This is my ear right here. Okay. This is his ear. His ear. The other person's ear. Okay. Someone someone put some money together and get me a style of his ear. <laughs> and so right and so what is my ear right my ear has taken in sounds and my brain has categorized them with all these labels right labels like soft loud violin-y guitar-y piano-y right 90s 90s music 50s music 60s music 2007s music right I've listened to so much music obviously I'm an audio engineer I've listened to tons of music so my brain has like put these mini labels on all types of sounds, right? And those, those are what I would call micro labels, right? The micros, those are like micro labels, right? But on a broad scale, on the macro scale, all those labels are really broken down into good, I'm not even gonna write out, but good and bad, okay? And so my brain's categorized things as either good or bad, okay? It's like a game, okay? <laughs> and so is that, is that five? Okay, that's five. And so um, my ear, my ear, you know my ear? This, this G kind of looks like my ear. Okay, my ear. <laughs> Put a little diamond earring in here. And so my ear has associated the way the sound of his saxophone was taking up the whole beat as annoying, right? And so it was in this category right here, annoying, right? Which would be under bad, okay? And so remember, when someone gives you feedback, especially when it's the unsolicited feedback, their feedback is more about them than it is about you, right? Uh, let me give you guys another example, because I want to really hammer this point home, okay? Um, say, say you're a short dude, okay? You're a short dude. This is you. You're a shorty, okay? You might be a short girl and you're watching this, right? There's a high probability you're a short girl and you're watching this right now, okay? Don't be offended, okay? This is just for illustrative purposes, okay? You're a short dude and someone tall makes fun of you, okay? Say I make fun of you. I'm a tall dude, right? I'm 6'1", I'm baby, come on. I make fun of you. Look at these, look at this bony, bony body. And I make fun of you, right? And it's only, it's only, it's only because I identify being, my identity as being tall, right? I identify with tallness, okay? I identify with tallness, right? Because if I was short, I couldn't make fun of, fun of a, another short person, right? That would just be having a good time, right? And so um, when someone makes fun of you, right? It's because they're identifying with or against the thing they're making fun of you for, right? But are they really tall? Am I really tall? Like at six, six, one, am I really that tall? Yeah, maybe I'm taller than like 90% of people, but it's not really that tall, right? Because if I was in the NBA, guess who this would be? This would be me, the mini. I would be mini, mini Dre, right? Mini, I'd be mini Dre right here, okay? Mini Dre. 
for my new rap name, Mini Dre. And so really the fact is we find ourselves in this world of dun, 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 relativity. I'm not going to spell out relativity because that might be a relative disaster. But we find ourselves in a world of comparisons and contrast, right? Small, big, dark, light, good, bad, hot, cold, right? And so when people say something negative to you, is it really negative? Right? Like I've had people send me death threats online. Okay. And is that really negative? Not really, because how can words on this virtual screen be negative, right? They're just dots. They're just dots like this doo -doo 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 -doo, that form into words that we're able to read, right? And so our brain looks at these dots and forms a meaning around them. And, the, and, then, the, and then it's like, oh, that means that, right? We see this, like this actually is just squiggles, right? But our brain sees this and goes red, right? Even though I writ, wrote it in blue, right? And this really brings me to the final part of this training, which is you are the one that decides what things mean, okay? You are the one that decides what things mean, right? You are the one that brings meaning into your life, right? You are the, the one that decides if something is bad or something is good, right? Remember, the universe or reality or whatever you want to call this existence that we're in is inherently neutral, right? And it's up to you to decide what's good or what's bad, right? And it's okay to be upset about something and be sad about something, but What's important is how fast you get back into the neutral state. Okay, I don't neutral. At all. This is my neutral symbol at N. Okay, it's like the it's like a car, right? And so the neutral state is really what I would call the centered state, right? When you're in the center of good and bad and and all these emotions, big and tall and small and tiny and rich or poor, right? And so really where we find ourselves is all, we're actually always in the center state. It's really only our mind that's providing meaning and taking us into these different states on either side of neutral and centered, right? And so guys, that's it for this training. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I love all you out there and uh, much blessings, all right? <laughs>